Okay, in this video we're going to look at how we solve a couple of algebraic fractions type questions. Okay, one I guess is actually very nice where you've got a fraction is equal to a fraction. So what you can do in this situation is just cross multiply. So this 3 comes up and multiplies the whole top line and this 5 comes up and multiplies the whole top line. So that will become 3 upon x plus 1 and without the bracket it is wrong and 5 times the 5 gives you 25. And if you multiply the bracket, you'll have 3x plus 3 is equal to 25. So you're now into a two-step linear equation. You've got 3 multiplying your x and then you're adding 3. So the first thing you do is bring that 3 across and it takes away. So you'll have 3x is equal to 25 minus 3 is 22. I'll just finish that over here. So it was 3x equals 22. And then you're multiplying by 3. The opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3. So x is equal to... 3 goes into 22 7 whole times and 1 left over and that should be the answer. The next example, a wee bit trickier. You've got this, uh, you've got a, an algebraic fraction minus an algebraic, another algebraic fraction is equal to some uh, expression of x. Um, so here what I would do first is find a common denominator. So if you imagine if you were adding or subtracting a fifth minus a sixth, you would take a common denominator, you'd make them both something over 30, and it would become 6 minus a 5, and then you can work that out. So the same idea here, and I'll just get rid of that, what you're going to do is take a common denominator of 30. So if you have, we think, this 5 had to get multiplied by 6 to become 30, so its top line also gets multiplied by 6. So that becomes 6 upon, and again you need the brackets, 6 upon 5x plus 5, and this 6 got multiplied by 5 to, co to come 30, so the top line also gets multiplied by 5. So that becomes minus, and then 5 upon 3x plus 6, and um, that is equal to 3x minus 1. Now, this is where um, you can do the next bit in a couple of ways. What you could do is multiply out this and then tidy it all up, and then... Uh, multiply across by the 30 or you could change the order of that you could multiply across by the 30 first so I might do that first just to get rid of it so I've got 6 times a 5x plus 5 still on the top line minus 5 times 3x plus 6 again on the top line and then this 30 multiplies across with so multiplies over to here so 30 upon 3x minus 1 so uh, let's get rid of that so now we've got this equation and just multiply it out 6 times a 5x is 30x, 6 times a 5 is just 30, and then just be careful here, it's minus 5 times 3x is minus 15x, and again minus 5 times positive 6 will give you minus 30, and then on the other side, multiply out and tidy up, you will have 90x minus 30. Okay, um, we'll tidy up before we do anything else, tidy up the left hand side, <coughs> so you've got 30x, <coughs> minus 15x which just gives you 15x and then you've got plus 30 minus 30 oh happy days that just disappears you've just got 15x and on the right hand side you've got 90x minus 30 and then this is a type of equation where you've got x's on both sides of the equations like both sides of the equation so the best thing to do here is to bring all the x's to one side so i'm going to bring my 15 across it will become minus 15 bring my minus 30 across the other side it will become just 30 and then you can tidy that up 30 is just equal to 90 minus 15 90 minus 10 would be 80 minus another 5 it's going to be 75 x <clears throat> and then we can go on from here so 30 divided by the 75 equals your x and i'll just write that the other way around and do a bit of cancelling down Divide top and bottom by, I don't know what I'll divide top and bottom by, 3 first of all, to give me 10 over 25. And then top and bottom divides by 5 to give me 2 over 5. And I think that is the right answer.